Hello, my name is Ben Lovegrove and in this video I'm going to describe the essential things that you need to know about drone training in the UK. If you want to become a drone pilot who operates UAV for hire or reward in the UK's airspace, then stay tuned. I'm going to explain the basics in plain English and mention some websites that may be of use to you in your training and career. This video is specific to drone training in the UK. In another video I'll concentrate on the processes for training in the USA. Check my channel and playlist for details and perhaps you'd like to subscribe so that you'll be the first to hear about new videos on this subject. In previous videos I have described the many ways in which drones are becoming increasingly numerous in various aspects of daily life. Recent drone market data has confirmed that UAS technology has progressed from the exploratory experimental phase and has now reached the solid implementation phase. As a result of this burgeoning drone industry there is a growing demand for drone pilots. There has never been a better time to get involved in flying drones. Perhaps you plan to incorporate drone technology into your current business or you intend to become a freelance drone pilot or perhaps your goal is to start a drone business. Whatever your ambitions, you'll need good quality training provided by companies authorised to provide it by the Aviation Authority. So let's look at what is involved in becoming the pilot in command. Flying any aircraft requires that the pilot in command obey certain rules and regulations pertaining to the air law in the country of operation. The same principles apply to pilots in command of unmanned aircraft. The fact that you're on the ground and not in the cockpit doesn't alter the fact that you have responsibility for the aircraft. There's an old saying in aviation, never let an airplane take you somewhere your brain didn't get to five minutes earlier. And while we're on the subject of nuggets of aviation wisdom, take a look at the site skyguard.com. It's packed with quotations and short stories about manned aviation, and by reading these you will develop a sense of what good airmanship is and how you can cultivate it within yourself. Your UAV may be small and light, but it's an aircraft nonetheless. This means that you have to adhere to specific restrictions relating to RPAS operating at low level, and often in areas of intense human activity, for example urban and industrial areas. To fly a drone safely and legally, you need to cultivate situational awareness so that you can anticipate risks and problems before they occur. This will give you the ability to maintain control and bring the flight to a safe conclusion if necessary. The CAA is your friend. One of the responsibilities of the UK CAA is formulating and administrating the rules and regulations relating to unmanned aircraft, whether they are being flown for fun or for commercial reasons. Here's another tip for you, go to dronesafe.uk. This site is approved by the CAA and NATS. Read and memorise the drone code section and download the Drone Assist app. You are strongly advised to follow the guidelines described whether you fly a drone for pleasure or commercially. The prime purpose of all this regulation is safety. They are designed to minimise the risk of any injury to people whether they are on the ground or in the air in other aircraft. The intention is also to minimise the risk of any damage to property or injury or disturbance to wildlife and livestock. There are also regulations for protecting people's rights to privacy and for prohibiting the use of drones for illegal activities. The main source of all the information about the UK's rules and regulations is the CAA's website. Start at the address on the screen now and become familiar with all the sections. Another tip for you, subscribe to the CAA's mailing list and receive updates to changes and amendments to regulations. Google for CAA subscriptions new registration for the registration page. Complete the details and wait for the confirmation link. Once registered, log in and select the MailShot subscriptions of your choice. You'll see that there is one MailShot category specifically for unmanned aviation. So let's now talk a bit more about becoming a commercial drone pilot. If you want to fly a drone for any kind of commercial work in the UK, you need to be over 18 years old and you'll need to pass a written exam that tests your knowledge of best flying practices, airmanship, air law, and airspace restrictions. You will also need to pass a flight assessment in which your flying skills will be tested to see if they meet the minimum standards. And thirdly, you will need to compile an operations manual 
which outlines the basic flying procedures for the types of flights you intend to undertake with the drone of your choice. Once you've passed the exam and the flight assessment and completed your operations manual, you can apply to the CAA for a PFCO, Permission for Commercial Operation, formerly called PFAW, Permission for Aerial Work, from the CAA. PFCOs are valid for 12 months from the date of issue. Applications for renewal are best sent at least 30 days before the expiry date to ensure continuity. If you change the type of UAV flown or any aspect of the type of flights flown, then you'll need to amend your operations manual and inform the CAA of those changes. In the UK, training is provided by NQEs, National Qualified Entities. These are CAA approved training organisations approved to provide training, adjudicate exams and conduct flight assessments. There are NQEs all over the UK now. Just Google for drone training in your chosen area, for example Drone Training Exeter. You shouldn't have to travel too far for courses and assessments. When I obtained a PFAW as it was then known, I completed the ground school course and passed the exam and the flight assessment with the help of the resource group. And now a few words about staying the right side of the law. Failure to comply with CAA regulations can result in a hefty fine and even a prison sentence. So it is crucial to make sure you do not fall foul of the regulations at any time. Whether you're an amateur or a professional pilot, don't be tempted to fly beyond your own abilities. And don't be persuaded by a client to carry out work that contravenes any of the regulations. Sometimes, particularly if you're new to the industry and want to impress your first clients, they might try to convince you to fly your UAV in such a way that it puts the aircraft or people on the ground at risk. It would be a great shame if your new career came to a sudden end with a criminal conviction. So remember who is the pilot in command. You are, not the client. As long as you become a competent and confident pilot who sticks to the regulations, you will stay out of trouble and build a business. The first step is to obtain the right training. Good trainers and instructors will help you to develop the habits that keep your flying activities safe and legal. So who are the new drone pilots? Currently there are four main paths that people take to become commercial drone operators. The first path is a hobbyist who finds that they can make money from their drone flying skills. If you can already fly a quadcopter well, you may already have been wondering if you can earn money by doing so. Your experience of flying characteristics of various airframes and the software that controls them will stand you in good stead for the move into the professional world. The second path stems from the military. If you originally trained as a military UAV pilot and you're now ready to move into the civilian world, then there are commercial drone flying openings awaiting you. The military experience with the emphasis on teamwork and adherence to flight procedures are the ideal foundation for a new career flying commercial UAV. Thirdly, we have professional photographers who are looking to branch out into aerial photography. If you already work as a photographer, it makes sense to capitalise on the growing demand for aerial photography. Aerial photography skills will enable you to get that perfect shot from previously inaccessible angles and heights. The fourth and final path to drone flying starts with anyone who thinks of themselves as an entrepreneur. If you want to make money from the hottest trends and are seeking a career in a developing market, and if you're ready to turn your hand to anything as long as it is lucrative, drone flying is for you. Finally, a few words about supplemental training. In addition to the basic drone pilot training classes provided by CAA accredited NQEs, there are various specializations that you can adopt. Depending on your current or desired career, you might want to specialise in videography, cinematography and film editing alongside basic drone flying skills. Technological additions to your drone will enable you to equip it for a specific purpose, such as filmmaking or high definition photography. Another popular customization to consider for your drone is a LiDAR sensor. LiDAR sensors send a pulsing laser beam to scan the Earth's surface and measure the time it takes for the light to hit the target and return to its source. The data is compiled to create very accurate 3D models of terrain. These sensors are highly useful in any profession that requires topographical data such as agriculture, forestry and archaeology. 
you may be surprised by the vast array of courses that are available to enhance your current drone flying skills and ensure that you can put your drone to good use in a specific field. From courses on building quadcopters from scratch to others on using drones for aerial photography, videography, cinematography and live streaming, you will have no trouble finding a teacher and a module that suits your needs. As new applications for drones are discovered and new niches open up in the market, new drone training courses are beginning up and down the country. Visit this section of my Copter Drones website for some examples and a list of some of the NQEs in the UK. The address is on the screen now. To summarise, start your drone training with accredited trainers who will help you develop the habits that will last throughout your career. Develop a strong sense of airmanship and situational awareness that keeps you in control of any aircraft in flight. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting and useful. Please give the video a thumbs up, share it and add a comment below.